Welcome to North Dakota! Legendary! Yay, we made it! Guess who? Guess who? There's Eric. <laughs> Good morning everyone. Asha here from Pandemonium. It is a cold, chilly morning. I have my furnace on. Burr. <laughs> we are finally in North Dakota and stopped here at the Theodore Roosevelt Park and Scenic View. So let's go take a look around in this chilly, chilly morning. Mm. Home, home on the range where the deer and the antelope or buffalo play. <laughs> it is a gray, gloomy day, but the view is definitely beautiful here. What you smelling, Mumu, huh? Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Just goes for miles and miles and miles. Definitely breathtaking. This is the visitor center right there, and it's a rest area, but the views are all around. We are here at the Painted Canyon Trail. The trail, I believe, is 2.1 miles. It's a moderate trail, rolling terrain, some steep sections. And here's some information if you'd like to read. This is a map of the trail system. This is where we are right here. There's a trail that leads down. And this is the Upper Paddock Creek Trail. There's the Badlands Spur Trail, which is 1.7 miles. There's the Lower Talkington Trail, which is 2.3 miles. And the Upper Talkington Trail, which is 3.8 miles. It's a loop. And there's a Rim Trail, which is 2.1 miles. And it leads back around. That would be awesome to do. Unfortunately, there are no pets or no bikes on this trail. That's a lot of trails to walk. Moo Moo, you're not allowed. Sorry, honey. We won't be going anyways. Yes. <laughs> so some of the rules and regulations are no collecting or disturbing natural features, never approach wildlife, camping requires a permit, carrying extra water is a definite and use maps and compass. Trail surfaces are not maintained. Who is such a good girl? All right, I took her off the lease for a minute because it's a picture time. Mumu, go. Go up, up. Good girl. All right, stay there. Good girl. Let me get a picture of you. You're such a wonderful dog. <laughs> Look at the pose. Hey, good girl, come on. Good girl. You're such a good girl. Yeah. This is where one of the trailheads begins and then it goes down into the Painted Canyon. Welcome to the Painted Canyon, a view into Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Here's some information about the Painted Canyon if you'd like to pause and read. Here's a picture of the park map. Mumu to her normal habits of smelling. <laughs> sniff, sniff. So it says, Dude on the Frontier. Theodore Roosevelt was 24 years old, came to the North Dakota Badlands from New York City to hunt for his first buffalo. For a week, there was nothing but rain. At last, some fresh tracks. And after hard riding and a lot of missed shots, Roosevelt's family downed a large bull. We're not going to take any of the trails, but there are viewpoints with magnificent views. We stand here all day and stare at this.
What you think, Mumu? <laughs> it's the awesome sauce, isn't it? Wow, it's pretty steep going down. I see the trail system all through there. We're coming up to another viewpoint here. So this is about the Badlands. There's burning hills and slumping. The stillness of the land is a disguise. Hard and frequent rains attack the loosely cemented clays and sandstones, gouging a new gullies and carrying off as much as two to four inches of surface a year from the steep, unprotected slopes. At night, the buttes and the outcroppings take on eerie shapes. A drawing sun pours back the shifting colors. In the future, this jagged land will be smooth and rounded, the river cutting through the soft rock, the burning ignite, the sudden downpours from part of one vast shaping motion. I have the zoom lens out and I'm trying to see if I can see any wildlife way out there. Okay, so these are buffalo berries, and the ranger said that they were edible. It's pretty cool. Is that right? Yes. Oh, did he say they're edible for buffalo or humans, too? Oh, yeah, are they? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so okay. And I ate them in front of the ranger. Oh, okay, cool. I'll have one then. Can you see me? Yeah. I'm not blowing my butt on you. <laughs> okay, here it goes. Oh, yeah, they are tart. And they have seeds in them. Weird. They have an old bison skull here in the visitor center. And look, it's my sticker I collect. Look out, here's some information about the bison if you want to pause and read. Is there a difference between bison and buffalo? Yeah, even though we call them buffalo over here, buffalo really live in Africa. Oh. Scientifically, they're bison, but when the European settlers came out far this way, mm -hmm. they saw these big guys and thought, hey, those look like buffalo. So, Do you know what other kind of difference there might be? Uh, when you look at a cake buffalo from, mm -hmm. say, South Africa, you're going to see a whole different head shape, different horns. They're much wider oh, okay. than cake buffalo. Bison are a completely different North American animal. Okay, thank you. All right, I have my new stickers on. And there's a small one down there. I also bought this cute sticker. I'm going to probably put it on one of my devices or my laptop or something. Actually, I found a wonderful spot for it. Looks good. It's on the little cabinet right above my stove. This is definitely a wonderful place to visit here in North Dakota if you're ever in the area and get a chance. You definitely should. We're going to go ahead and get back on the road and head further east into North Dakota. Um, I believe we're going to... Crap, what's the name of the town? I can't remember, but I'm sure I'll let you know when we get there. <laughs> oh yeah, we're going to Dickinson, that's right. <laughs>
small dirt road. Campsites are coming up here on the left hand side. On the right side it's all fenced off. Wow, there's some pretty big camp spots. Nice and open. I'm not sure if they're together. Oh, maybe that's just a picnic area. So they have a few camp spots and picnic areas. Just go in a big U horseshoe um, drive. There's some vault toilets here as well. Looks like we already have one camper here, but that's it. Do y'all want us to get separate spots or do we all want to go into one spot? So here's our new camp spot. We went ahead and just went into one spot. I'm going to walk down and go ahead and put the envelope in. What do you think? You like it? You like it? Shake it off. <laughs> Okay, so we are walking down to the pay box, and we're going to go ahead and pay our fee. And also, I'm going to check out these other camp spots. It's starting to get dark, so we need to hurry up. That's pretty neat. That's uh, like a homemade truck camper. It's pretty compact. Registration and its daily feed required $5 per site, which is really cheap. Payment of fee must be made within 30 minutes. Well, that's pretty, just, that's pretty inexpensive. Ours. Yeah, as long as you have yeah, one on there... Yeah, five dollars per site per night. Yay. You cannot beat that. These sites are huge too. Lick that envelope, lady. <laughs> Scott's still messing with the box. See? It goes in. Just like that. Ta da and we uh, have our receipt. That's why girls just, do it. I guess you can put the receipt on the front. Vehicle. Yeah, these go on the front. Okay. I'll All just right. hold on to it. All right. Golden age. How old do I have to be for golden age? Golden age, why? 60 something. See, I shouldn't have put my access passport. Oh, what does it say? Golden Age is free? No, $2.50. Oh, $2.50. Okay. Dang it. I'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. Well, I want to thank y'all for hanging out with us, and hopefully, we'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and onward bound. Mwah. Love y'all out there. Bye for now. Eric made spaghetti for everyone. It looks delicious. Thank you, Eric. Mm -hmm. And turkey meatballs. Mm -hmm. Oh, turkey meatballs. And bread. You even made us bread. Yeah. Yum. Thank you, Eric. Yeah. Wait, yeah. can I see some light, please? <laughs> Look at that. That is a bad, I bad joke. Uh, I think that's the first time I've I ever gotten onto that good. Did you do that? <laughs> yes, I did. I'm very proud of myself. Can I take their yeah. snake, please? <laughs> He's a cuddler. That's funny. A cuddler. Do you want to sit over here? No, that's good. <laughs> Eric was hungry like three hours ago. Yeah, I was thinking about stopping in at Burger King. I know. At some I, point. Um, I almost radioed everybody and said, do we want to stop and just eat somewhere? Or? This looks really good. Mm-hmm. Oh, it is really good.